Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 20th, 2020. We have one month to go before good old President Trump decides to get hauled out by the military and thrown on the street. And I also have, to begin off with my, my clip with you, I actually got a clip of John Brasso, number three Republican, talking on stimulus. So if you'll indulge me in this little clip, I should be right back. Thank you. Capitol Hill, the number three Republican in the Senate, John Barrasso. Senator, where do we stand on COVID relief talks? I understand there's a lot of parliamentary rigmarole, but what are the chances that all sides will sign on to an agreement today? This gets done today. No more delays. We're not leaving until we have relief for the American people. People are hurting, people need help, and there are two things we need to do to write this final chapter on coronavirus, and the one is to get people vaccinated. We're doing that now. 20 million people will be vaccinated by the end of this, uh, by, by New Year's Eve. But we need to provide help for the American public, people who've been struggling, until we get enough people vaccinated that we can fully get the economy back on track. And that means people back to work and kids back to school. So direct payment checks to the American people, $600. For people who are watching, Chris, if they got a check last time, they will get a check again this time, adults and children. Uh, for people who are out of work through no fault of their own, $300 a week for enhanced unemployment going into next year. And for the small businesses and the working families all across America, uh, we were gonna do more paycheck protection loans so those small businesses can stay open, so people can get paychecks uh, all the way through this has been a very successful program. 13,000 small businesses in Wyoming have used this program. Uh, it's a little more specific this time in that the business has to be fewer than 300 employees uh, and they actually have to show a loss. But that's the way we get this disease behind us. I, I wanna just hone down on one point specifically. I know that you worked out the issue about emergency lending authority to the Fed, but then just after midnight, uh, last night, this morning, President Trump said he wanted to see the direct payments higher, bigger than the three, six hundred uh, dollars to each American who got one last time. I take it you're not going to go along with it, of changing that part of the program. We need to get this done today. The president is right in that this is no fault of the American people. Chris, we should have done this months ago had not Nancy Pelosi played politics through the fall because of the presidential election. She's admitted as much. We've had a bill pretty comparable to what we're going to pass today. And we've offered it by Republicans time and time again. The Democrats beat it down 40 different times. This has been wrong. The delay has been too long. We need to get it done now for Christmas. And the CDC advisory panel recommends older Americans and essential workers become the next to get vaccinated. Well, I'm not sure if I actually want to get vaccinated with the COVID-19 uh, shot because I have heard about some of the side effects of it, which I will get to into a little bit later in this program. So stick with me on that one. The UK has basically nixed the Christmas gathering and has shut London's shops down over the, vac the virus. A Virginia politician was arrested in a Denver airport attempting to, well, allegedly attempting to kidnap a 12-year-old girl from California. And before you think that Republican or Democrat, you'd be wrong on both accounts because it was an independent politician. And then Mitt Romney, a Republican from Utah, basically says that what Trump is trying to do by overthrowing the um, election results is sad and embarrassing, which I have to agree because he's Trump is crying like a little baby about election results. He's already said he's going to try to run in 2024, so let Biden have his run in, in 2024 if COVID doesn't get Trump first and he re tries to rerun for president. Let's see what happens then. And Tyson Foods fires many of several of their managers for placing bets on how many of their employees would contract COVID-19. And this is a Tyson Foods plant in Ohio. You got to admit, that's pretty bad. Seven managers taking bets on who's going to get COVID that works there. I mean, that's just so messed up. And 
roughly five, there are basically roughly five adverse reactions to the COVID-19 shots. I can give you four of them right now. The first one is uh, severe headaches. Second one is high grade fevers. Third one is body aches. Fourth one is, is muscle pain. And there's actually one more that they have not released yet. But when I find out what that is, I will be more than happy to let you know, because that's basically what I do. <laughs> and an agreement on the COVID relief bill could come as early as today or tomorrow, because they basically have done a one day government stop gap. So government not, will not close down until tomorrow at midnight. And basically, um, Biden could come at Biden, the um, whole, whole thing with the whole cyber attack in the United States. Biden's team vows action against the cyber attackers as hackers persist against, pre, persist, sorry, as hackers keep trying to hack in the United States. And on to our wonderful, wonderful stimulus news, which I hope is actually very happy for you to hear, because let's put it this way. We actually have some new info on the stimulus deal that was struck today between McConnell, Pelosi, McCarthy, and Schumer. Those other four leaders that were taking care of this whole deal, well, the low, the lower rank uh, politicians know nothing about this, this stimulus package until they vote on it tomorrow. I will cover in detail the package, but it turns out that there are... They're basically repurposing $560 billion of CARES Act money to put into this new stimulus package. And this new stimulus package is coming close to $900 billion, which means that any new money going into this is going to be under $340 billion. So basically, if they're going to repurpose $560 billion, why don't they just add another $560 billion and increase the stimulus checks to the people they do not qualify for unemployment for one reason or another because 600 bucks isn't going to last them that long. And if this is just, if this is another bridge payment, that's going to take another four months before anything else happens, then we're going to be in pretty sorry shape. But Pelosi released the um, provisions of the new stimulus deal. Yes, there is eviction protections, stimulus checks, enhanced unemployment and rental assistance and more. In fact, if you watch behind me, I'll put up a spreadsheet of showing you basically what's inside this according to the press release that Pelosi has let out. Um, the employment extension basically will, instead of being the 16 weeks that they thought or the 12 weeks they thought, is actually 11 weeks. That's what it's landed on. So basically all those people are on unemployment right now, you get an 11 week extension of unemployment. And the direct payment basically will not include will not include adult dependents but they will include mixed the the mixed marriages of people that are married to people without social security numbers including their children mcconnell said that he and three other leaders of congress has made a deal today congress will take up a one-day stopgap measure till tomorrow when both the senate and the house will take up the voting for the government funding and the COVID relief bill and on the six hundred dollars stimulus checks, we heard from uh, John Brasso, which I showed you in, uh, earlier, that if you qualify for them, if you basically qualify for the stimulus checks in the um, CARES Act, you also qualify for them in this relief bill as well. And although we keep hearing about what's in this bill, we have yet to actually seen a hard copy of this bill written out for all legislation purposes to be voted on and passed by the House and the Senate and then signed by the President of the United States. But hopefully we will be getting this bill uh, hopefully before midnight tonight so they can actually read it, read up on it and vote on it tomorrow because their one day stopgap ends tomorrow at midnight. So I hope this information was very useful to you guys. And if you do like the content of my program, please hit that likes button. And if you want to get more content, please hit the subscribe button. And you're all more than welcome to leave as much comments as you want. I will reply to everyone I can get a chance to. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And I hope this news comes to you and brings happiness to your heart, even if it's a little bit. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful Sunday. I'm broadcasting to you. We'll have more relevant information for you. Bye.